Okay, today I'm going to be putting polyethylene glycol in my vacuum chamber. So polyethylene glycol, I made a video on this a little bit ago. It's called a self-pouring liquid. And what it is, is it's a polymer with a really high molecular weight. And what it does is when you start pouring it, it pulls the liquid out of the container so it looks like it's pouring itself. So the reason that this polyethylene glycol acts like this is because it has a molecular weight of about a million. And what that means is it would weigh about a million grams per mole of that liquid. So I'm gonna turn on the vacuum chamber here. And with my setup, what I wanna do is once we turn on the vacuum, all of the small little air bubbles that are dissolved into there, and I just mixed it up so there's probably some larger air bubbles. Once it starts to expand, I want to see if it will self-pour itself out of the cup into the vacuum chamber. So you might have heard of polyethylene glycol before. It's actually also used in a laxative called Miralax. And it's a little bit different. The kind used in Miralax is actually a smaller chain of the polymer. It's around a molecular weight of around 3,000. So this is a lot longer polymer. It has a molecular weight of around a million. Okay, polyethylene glycol, the self-pouring liquid in the vacuum chamber. Let's see if it pours itself. Three, two, one. See if it goes over the edge. Oh, it's expanding, it's gonna fall over the edge. And there it goes. I don't think that's gonna stop anytime soon. So we're at around 0 0.01 bars now. Look at it jiggle when all the bubbles pop. So this has the consistency of like mucus. So this is essentially what a large jar of mucus would look like in a vacuum chamber. Turn off the vacuum. Okay, so it didn't ever start boiling because this is much too thick of a liquid to be boiling. But now I'm going to let the air in and I'm kind of interested. I had this on a cup here and you can see that the cup uh, doesn't have any polyethylene glycol under it. Uh, so I'm gonna let in the air, but I'm interested to see if the polyethylene glycol is gonna get sucked into that cup there. We'll see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> It did get sucked into the cup a little bit. So I've officially degassed my polyethylene glycol now. So this is what polyethylene glycol looks like. Just like a mucus blue mucus hey everyone thanks for watching again if you like this video remember to subscribe and comment in the comment section with any questions you have or anything you'd like to see me put in my vacuum chamber or my hydraulic press or anything else cool you'd like to see me do let me know and i'll see you next time